scatter plots and line fitting. Spreadsheets can be really handy for drawing graphs. However, if you don't know what you're doing, the graph can be cluttered, incorrect, or just plain silly. Sometimes we want to look at the relationship between two variables in a set of data. Examples are sales of chocolate and daily temperature, sales of ice cream and daily temperature, distance from university and amount of time spent online. A graph can help to show how a change in one variable relates to a change in another variable. Here is an example. Helen sells chocolatees. She has noticed that she seems to sell more chocolatees on cold days than she does when the weather is warm. This is interesting to her and she decides to see if there is a pattern. She's looking to see if there is a relationship between temperature and sales. Each weekday for the next six weeks she keeps track of the temperature in degrees Celsius and the number of packets of chocolatees she sells. This gives her 30 observations corresponding to the 30 weekdays. For each day she has two values, the temperature and the number of packets of chocolatees sold. She records the data in a spreadsheet and gives it to her brother to make a graph. It looks like this. Helen does not find that very helpful, so she asks us for help. First we wish to make a graph, and then we want to fit a line to it. At the end it should look like this. Drawing a scatter plot in Excel. First, highlight the two columns of data, including the titles, and click on the Insert tab. The left-hand column should be the one that is going on the horizontal axis, or the independent variable. Then select Scatter in the Charts section. Select Scatter with only markers, the top left-hand option, as we do not want the points joined up. We do not select Line Graph. The graph should now appear as an object in the worksheet beside the data. This graph needs a better title and some axis labels. In Chart Layouts, select Layout 1 which adds in axis titles. To change the title, click on it, then enter the title you want in the formula bar. Do the same for the axis titles. Then delete the legend by clicking on it, then deleting. Now we wish to fit a line to the data in the graph. Excel calls this a trend line. Click somewhere in the space around the graph to make sure the chart tools are visible. Select the Layout tab. From the Analysis group, click on Trend Line and More Trend Line options. Select Linear and check Display Equation on Chart and Display R Squared Value on Chart. Close the dialog box. Voila! An equation appears. Move the equation to a better position on the graph so that we can see it. And there we have fitted a straight line to the data as Helen requested. We still need to explain what it means. In the equation are two numbers, negative 2.3894, which we will round to negative 2.4, and 112.24, which we will round to 112.2. Negative 2.4 is the slope of the line. We can tell this because it is the value that the x or independent variable is multiplied by. 112.2 is the intercept. The slope value, negative 2.4, also known as the coefficient of x, tells us that for each extra degree of temperature, the daily sales decreased by 2.4 packets of chocolatees on average. We say it has decreased because it has a negative slope. If it had had a positive slope, then the daily sales would have increased 2.4 for each extra degree of temperature. The positive relationship might be more likely for something that people like to eat on hot days, like ice creams. The intercept tells us how many packets Helen would sell if the temperature was 0 degrees. However, this is outside the range of temperatures in the data. The intercept is unlikely to be of any useful interpretation. This is often the case with intercept values in fitted data. The other value we found was the R squared, also known as the coefficient of determination. It tells us how much of the variation in the dependent variable, in this case sales, can be explained by the independent variable, in this case temperature. We can say that temperature explains 17% of the variation in packets sold. Helen's original idea was that she sells more packets of chocolatees on cold days. This graph and this equation seem to support this theory. 
We can only comment on the slope with regard to the data on which the line was fitted. To use the data to make generalizations about all days of sales, we would need to use inferential statistics. To find out how we can make use of the sample data to make generalizations about the population, watch the video Regression in Excel.